everybody welcome back to my channel today we're gonna have some fun with some new natural hair products that I picked up at Target but before I get ahead of myself if this is your first video welcome if you enjoy hanging out with me today make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads today we are trying out a pretty popular brand that I haven't really honestly used before um, I did get a tester product of theirs for the free which is why I used it because this brand typically I mean no shade because get your coin but I'm used to spending anywhere from like four dollars to about nine maybe at max ten dollars for my natural hair product this brand is a bit more than that and that brand is none other than the main choice so this is the prickly pear paradise line um, and it's not even the full line, it's just like the main essentials from this line. But I'm sure some of you are like, okay, if you've never spent that kind of money on a on a product, we know you're not just stunting for YouTube, so what why, what made you buy this brand of product? I got Instagram bamboozled, y'all, and I know you've all been Instagram bamboozled before. You have bought things because Instagram told you to do so. And yeah. So Miss Courtney Adelaide, I think is how you say her last name, is the founder, CEO, boss woman, mastermind behind the main choice. And Madam Main Choice was on my timeline with this ad. Whew, so you guys, like, I'm just trying to understand, like, how, how, how do I keep coming up with bomb products? Like, how do I keep outdoing myself every time? Like, it's not making any sense to me. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure my foot is in here somewhere. Like, I'm sure of it. I can't even find it. Like, how do you create a product that you can apply to your dry, dirty product buildup hair at night, cover with a plastic cap, and the next morning you rinse it out and your hair is detangled, hydrated, repaired? Like, I don't understand. Like, the product does everything for you. I don't get it, but it's available exclusively at Target and Target.com. Y'all can try it. Let me know. I'm just trying to understand it. I don't understand how I can keep out doing myself. It makes no sense. Like none. Whew. I mean, like, wow, is this everything that I've been missing on? And my hair, y'all, after the winter time is like dusty dry. I mean, when I tell you. I did a deep condition for over 24 hours this past weekend, and my hair within a day. I mean, can y'all hear it? It feels like, it sounds like hay. So while I was at Target mining, again, my business, I ran across this lovely pickly pear of mine. At first, I just grabbed this overnight mask that she was talking about, does wonders and miracles. And then I read the directions, and it says that you need the no poo. Oof, Jesus. No poo prickly pear. That's a lot of alliteration. No poo prickly pear conditioning cleanse foam. Which was here. And this references for best results follow prickly pear. Y'all, this is too much. Prickly pear paradise leave-in conditioning cream. Which is this. Now this is the last one that they had on the show. So I said, Lord, are you trying to speak to me and tell me that I need to buy this line? Now let me tell you, I'm going to put the actual prices on the screen because I don't remember them. I spent, I think the cheapest one was $14.99 that they used, and the most expensive one, which might have been the nat the mask, was $16.99. Y'all, I spent months <laughs> worth of natural hair products on these three items. So all I gotta say is, Miss Courtney, you better not be lying to me. Please, you better not be lying to me, because I'm gonna be mad. And I'm gonna ask her, no, I'm not gonna ask her in front of y'all. I think it's gonna work out. So I am in my pajamas because I'm literally on my way to bed, like I'm going to bed. But the mask is an overnight mask. Sounds like, according to the ad and according to this, that I literally just take this hair down, which has got to be glued and gel and all kinds of things in it and I just apply this directly all the way through put a cap on and go to sleep you guys ready you tired of me talking me too let's get into this so first and foremost this stuff smells amazing amazing so I started off by just taking out my hair y'all had pins and all kinds of obnoxiousness in there I grabbed a towel just in case even though there's no water involved but you know I'm a little clumsy. 
anyways so as you can see I just start off by sectioning a piece of my hair like a good chunk you know I wasn't being real particular and just raking the product through um, I'm also finger detangling while I'm doing that just to I mean you can tell my hair is pretty dry at the end so taking about you know a good size amount and just using that to help break through the hair and just get it detangled so that the product could do an even better job of moisturizing and kind of getting all the way through my hair So here I'm all done and I'm just adding some extra product all the way around just to make sure my hair is good and soaked with the product. And I just kind of break it through, check it, that's what it's looking like. And I just kind of twisted it up. I didn't put anything in it, but just put the cap on and I'm ready for bed. So it is the next day and I literally did keep this in for 12 hours. I was able to put a wrap around it and go run errands in the morning so yeah it's been in for a while and my hair felt so soft you guys so detangled you see how the curls are already popping for the product I mean this is literally straight from like just dry hair y'all saw it was a mess um, so so far the mask is a winner um, you see I'm just rinsing it out that's the only piece of hair that I lost throughout this entire process and my hair is pretty detangled here but so we're going in with the um, no poo conditioning cream and yeah here's where things get interesting so you see I'm now on pump two uh, let's see if we yep pump three it just felt like is it really doing anything and I knew it was a foam but like I guess I'm used to conditioner that lathers and I couldn't tell if it was on my hair it started to feel like it was stripping the moisture that I had accumulated um, so I decided to twist it up you're only supposed to leave it on for 60 seconds but I twisted it up and you'll see me add just a little bit more in a second and just kept it in for a while maybe like five minutes so here I am just rinsing it out and you see my face like my hair just didn't feel like I was like what was the purpose of that like I could have skipped that step entirely quite honestly so yeah I just moved on to detangling my hair and I use the water pressure to detangle it helps me to not lose as much hair the water pressure just kind of helps me and then I moved on and used the Denman brush that really takes my detangle to the next step and make sure anything that I miss with the comb that I get with the Denman brush and my curls typically pop super hard uh, with the Denman brush so yeah here it is all detangled and ready to go so yeah, my hair started to air dry, uh, but I'm taking the leave-in conditioning cream and again, just randomly sectioning my hair, putting the rest back, and using a generous amount uh, per the instructions. It literally says a generous amount, so and I knew I would need that anyway. So generous amount, and I'm just finger detangling as I go, and then coming in with a dimmer brush to see the curls really pop. And wow, were they popping! I mean, it felt so creamy. It honestly was like the hair lotion. If y'all remember, like, I forget what brand that was, but like, hair lotion growing up. Like, look at this right here. Wow. Like, curl popping. Um, and it just felt really nourished, and yeah, I really was enjoying this product. So I just took that throughout the rest of my hair, random sections, just making sure I got that product from root to tip. And the Demon brush really helps with that, getting that product all the way through. Uh, so yeah. So I just finished up the rest of my hair with the same process and y'all look at the way my curls are popping. Now you do see the top of my hair, the texture is a little bit different. Um, so I went through and separated the curls and then you see me like really just uh, stroking different pieces. Um, and that really did help to make them a little less frizzy. Like the product really did its job. Like obviously my curls are popping, they're shiny, and the pieces that weren't popping I finger coiled, and then this is me just letting it air dry. Uh, so I put it up in this nice little puff uh, for an air dry, and it's very loose, but yeah, my curls are, I just was like really shook, like they're shiny, they're springy, I'm pleased. So my general review of the products, uh, the mask was absolutely bomb. Um, 
I would say it's worth the price. I mean, it did really good things for my hair that I haven't seen. This is about how much I used, um, which was kind of quite a bit. So I'll probably get maybe three uses out of it. But overall, the mask, I highly recommend. My hair was so soft, I wish I wouldn't have used anything else. Alright, I'm going to try not to be too harsh on this product. I just honestly, I mean you guys saw it, I don't know what it did for my hair. Couldn't tell you. If anything, it stripped the moisture that I got from the mask. Um, yeah. Was it worth $14.99? I don't think so. I mean, I'm going to use it all because I spent the money, but I'm not sure I would recommend it. I just don't know what it did. But back to a high note, <laughs> the leave-in conditioning cream was pretty fire. To me, it's pretty comparable to other things that I've used, uh, like Cream of Nature, uh, Curl Enhancing Smoothie. It was just very moisturizing, real good. So overall, was this set worth $49 uh, and worth the hype? The mask, totally worth the hype. Leave-in conditioning cream, pretty worth the hype. That no poo cleanse foam, yeah, don't worry about that. Sis. But on that basis alone, main choice might have made me a believer. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.